So, Master Marsh here from the Virtuous Warrior Academy. And tonight, I'm going to work our way through the first bong form, bong yong ilgu. And I'm going to do it once, regular. Then I'm going to do a slow demonstration. And then we're going to go back to doing our first exercise. So, think of this as when you're a white belt, orange belt, green belt, and you're learning the dexterity drills that are static that we showed the other night. After you work through that, then what you would do is take those same static uh, spins you're doing with your staff, and you would just start marching up and down the floor, just like you do with your basics. And then after you do that, you may be working different combinations. That would be the ball and exercises. And then from there, you work your forms. So the way I explain it is your forms is like a big apple tree. And they have all the di different apples are different bits of knowledge. So what you want to do is be able to pick that low-hanging fruit and examine it, okay? Look at it. Look at it from the surface, drill down through, get enough information from it, move on to something else. And then at the end of the day, you want to look at it as a total, a total package. When they send those forms, you have to sit there and think about why the form was created. There's many different reasons of why the form was created. So, you know, teach footwork, teach posture, teach coordination. There's a spiritual aspect to it. There's a, a physical aspect of breathing, timing, coordination. There's self-defense movements. There's grappling and striking movements. That's the self-defense part. Um, just awareness, uh, directions of movement, um, roles of movement. All that stuff is embedded. It's almost like it, it's a code. It's encoded in the form, and then it's sent out, and then you, when you're training, you learn how to pull it apart. Okay? So I'm going to go back and show the form real quick. Long down yoga. So the very first thing we're starting out is, this leg's not moving. I'm just coming up here. Moving here. This foot's going to come in. I'm going to gather, and they land at the same time. Here, we're doing that reverse figure eight with my arms, but internally, I'm twisting my waist, getting that hip to come in, and I'm going to come up on this ball a little bit. Now, I want to come down. So I'm going to go low to high, and then again. Here, this is the third movement of the form. You do three movements. One, this foot stays, this foot opens. From then, high block. Same thing from then, bob the head block. From here, you chamber, kick chamber. Here, and they land together. They're dropping. I'm looking, so I'm looking, the ball is coming out, foot is going over, I'm twisting my legs, getting that spin in there, coming up. Here, reverse figure eight. Here, front kick. Down, looking. As I'm looking, I'm going to uh, keep your cross like a stance, and the staff is coming up at the same time. You're turning, fighting stance. The weight is rebounding above the head. From here, I'm going to look, I'm going to rotate on the ball out foot. As that weight shifts down, then I come up above the head, then rotate from that ball, that weight goes in, and then in. And then again, soccer rip. This doesn't move, that does. Above the head. You're going to front kick and come back. As this leg pulls back through, you drop. You hear? Boom. And then hit. Now you do four figure eights. Flip it. Suck the rip, dip it. Shlumbi. So from this form and from the other two bone forms, you do the very first exercise to teach. So basically, you're just training both sides. It's like a static exercise. You come up. You do one. You come back. 
You do two. You come back. When you're doing this, you're training. When it, I'm going to a, a high strike or a high block, it starts low. This staff point and that staff point pivoting in the center. You're switching places. The third movement, left, low, high. Goes back down here. So again, I'm working this here, coming in a end. This stays. This opens. Here. That's one, two, three, four. So five and six is that three movement combination. Coming here. It's one, two, three. Now I'm going to front kick, pull, strike, or figure it down to the other side. Come in. One, two, three. Kick, pull back, throw. Strike, four figure eight, and down. So that would be the exercise you would learn after you march. From the exercise in the form, you can start picking different apples. So the first apple we want to pick may be the low strike or low block. My arms are crossing as blocks, so I just want to go practicing that low block. Maybe practicing the low block and turning. Maybe I want to practice my low block with a low block. Maybe I want to practice one handed. Maybe the next part. I want to pick the next piece of fruit would be the highest block. So I come the whole way down. And then again, you can start practicing one hand. Maybe I want to start marching another direction. Maybe I want to do all three going up. So you come in, you do one. Sorry, I had the video there. So, so again, you can do all three from here. You just go one, two, three, and do your front kick. And then come down. One, two, three. Come down. Now, when you're working with your staff, Stuff, you know, it also translates into learning your uh, forms. If you look at Pion Shodong, the movement over here, you're here, it's rebounding back. Here, just like this is rebounding up. Or when you're coming down the middle, it's your punch. Here, sucker rip. Here, sucker. If you look at um, Shipsu, these are just small examples. You can get a lot more out of your forms. Shift so you're here, weight is on here, and as I put the weight on this leg, it's going to the, the ball, this foot, and it's rotating. Learning how to shift. Learn how I go that way, same, same movement of the first ball form. So again, don't sit there and think the first ball form I learned that as a brown belt or green belt or whatever. Superficial. It's great, you learn the movements, but again, you want to continue to drill into it. Continue to drill, tap in, and get more knowledge. Do it on your own, and then what I like to do after I do study some more, I go to my seniors or my peers or other black belts, I listen to them. You know, sometimes I give my thoughts, and then we talk back and forth, and you debate, and you try to be open-minded, because I've learned a lot more from other people than what I've learned from myself. And I've learned a lot more from other people than they probably learned from me. Okay? That's just it. So, another thing I want to give you before we leave. If you don't have a staff to use, you, um, some of the other instructors have said about using a towel. Just hold your towel in the hand. And then just 
try to learn the movements. You can train without a staff and just use your hands and try to examine the movements. You can use a uh, foam noodle. You can do that. Uh, other things you can be doing with the staff itself is um, some of the stuff I got from other people is just using one hand, just like we do that one hand four figure eight. You can start doing that. You can do staff, say exercise form one. I can do the whole thing, you know, with my left hand. Zoom it real quick. Do the other side, all three. And you can feel, man, I get a good hit there. But do I get a good hit on this? What, you know, where's my pivot point? Where's my weight? Where's the mass of the staff? You know, you can do one hand. You can do the form one hand. You know, come through here. Low. High. Low. High. Above the head. Front. Low. Low. High. You can do different things. All those different drills will make you a little bit better. So again, don't I always think about that when I said about proceed effort of success. You see me spinning around my staff and twirling around doing all these exercises and drills. So I, I didn't start working with the staff until 2006 really. I didn't really get heavily into it. Before that I was working a lot of the nunchaku. A lot of the nunchaku. I liked it a lot. So the staff wasn't my thing. So then I started getting more into staff and more into staff and more into staff. Really liked it. So it takes, takes a while to get into it. But again, you'll do it. Other dexterity drills you can do you sit here, you can build up some forearm strength, you can do some exercises, you do that, you can flip it, flip it, work some of that. Sometimes you can lift and catch behind the back, do different things like that. So again, just play around with your staff, we all have the time to do it. I said before, life gives you opportunities, and it gives you excuses, choose which one you're going to do, right? Come to you.